what's up, I'm Brian here, doing another video for you guys, and this time we're going to be talking about the new Netflix series Voyager Class Toys. So, the third wave has been revealed, it was rumored to be an Optimus Primal and a Seeker set, and that's exactly what we got. We're going to start off with the Optimus Primal pack, I wanted to take a look at the packaging, you can see the ape form on the side, the artwork with the maximal symbol on the side there, and you can see the maximal symbol on the backdrop, so that's very nice. As you can see, it comes with Rat Trap and Optimus Primal, of course and what I really like is it swaps out those insignias for the certain characters and the ranks with the paw print and the etched uh, design of the rat, which I think is a nice touch. Anyways, taking a look at the toys themselves, it is a slightly different color scheme compared to what we already got. Uh, rat Trap seems a little darker with the brownish orange, the dark orange color and the gray, and Optimus Primal seems to have maybe a darker blue, definitely a darker red, and uh, a, much, a much more muted color scheme, which I think really works for the Optimus Primal, especially with the blades, the gunmetal color looks very nice. But uh, I, I think I might just opt out for the retail versions. It's not that the retail version looks better by comparison. In fact, this definitely looks better for Optimus Primal. It's just, I think it's cheaper to get those when it comes to out here. Also, I'm not sure if these are going to come out because my stores have been crap when it comes to the Netflix series. And um, not only that, I already have a rat trap, so I, I don't really need to get another one. Uh, but uh, yeah, it does look fine. And uh, for the ape mode, I will say that the dark gray definitely flows a lot better with the ape itself you know it flows with the the black or the really dark gray and uh, the rat looks pretty good there are solo picks of the rat trap itself and what I'll say about rat trap is the one thing I don't like about this is the white nose it doesn't fade into the color it just kind of stops and I, I know that just I feel like that could have been better, but, you know, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, the pink toes don't really look obnoxious on this version. And uh, you can see that the face definitely has that bright red, which looks really good in this image. I'm not sure how well it's going to look in person. And he still has the maximal symbols on the arms. So, yeah, I, I really do like how that came out. But, uh, again, I don't need to opt out for the, uh, the new Rat Trap. And now this one's interesting. This is going to be the Sparkless Seeker. So, you know, the zombie cons we've been seeing around in the show. Well, this seems to be a version of it, which kind of defeats my whole hot link theory. And uh, he's going to come with two Bowmasters. Now, I desperately need this one because I have, before this, every version of the Siege Seeker. So I kind of need to get this one. But uh, you can also see that the color scheme kind of resembles that one random seeker that keeps popping up. Uh, the one with the color scheme that kind of matches the Waspinator and people theorize is Waspinator later on. Um, but uh, it seems to have kind of a muted green color scheme. Um, taking a look at the back of the packaging, one thing that I'll point out is that the Bowmasters are actually the ones that came with the original Spinister. So we got those in Siege again, and now you're also getting them in this pack. I believe Singe was a solo pack and no, actually, I am wrong. Caliburst was the one that came from, uh, originally he came from Slug Slinger, I believe. So I, I thought those two were the ones that came with Spinister, but no, I had that wrong. Um, but uh, yeah, and they also come with the same blast effects, so that's pretty cool. But the color scheme is kind of weird, but I kind of like it because we've seen a lot of the same Battlemasters in gray and slightly different gray that I kind of like that kind of greenish olive color scheme for it. So, I don't know. And the secret looks pretty good. Uh, taking a look at the pictures of the actual toys themselves. Uh, the Sparkless Seeker seems to have the same pattern, if I'm not mistaken, to the Hot Link. You can see the, the dark pouches and, and, and the brown fade. It, it seems very similar to how Hot Link is designed, it's just a different color scheme. I also like how the uh, windscreen of the cockpit is also muted too. And uh, I also love those uh, flare effect pieces, that blast effect in purple is very nice. And the green blast effect also looks like a slightly different green. If you guys have bought any of the uh, Gen 2 Bionicle sets or some of the Lego stuff, uh, the blast effect in these images compared to the original Singe, the original Singe looked like the uh, original like light neon kind of yellowish green color, and then this looks like that uh, transparent green that they used for the Gen 2 Bionicle. I'm not sure if anyone's going to get that reference, but um, it's just a slightly different shade of green. Anyways, uh, yeah, you got the Decepticon logos on the side, of course, and taking a look at the robot mode, yeah, 
I think it looks pretty good. Definitely zombified, but uh, I think it will flow very well with the rest of the Seekers, and uh, yeah, I definitely need it. Could also work out as a different version of Acid Storm if you want. Anyways, what do you guys think? Please comment below, let me know. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all this fun dudes, and I will see you guys next time.